Okay, so the second attempted not yet learned topic for today is finding negative powers of scientific notation. So I already clicked on there and saved a copy and I brought it over here. All right, so finding negative powers of scientific notation. All right, calculate blank. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take advantage of my understanding of the rule of negative exponents, right? So a negative exponent, I'm gonna make that a positive exponent. I'm gonna do that by rewriting the whole thing, five times 10 to the negative one squared, right? So you see what I did? I just switched, I flipped everything over. Now I'm gonna take my understanding of exponents as it pertains to parentheses and I'm gonna say this is the same thing as one over five squared times 10 to the minus one squared, okay? So this is the same thing as one over 25, right? Um, one over 25, and then when you have a, an exponent that's raised to another exponent, they're multiplied, right? We don't add anymore. That's when you have a common base. Here we multiply. So this is gonna be times 10 to the minus two, right? You see that? So now this is going to be, become, is this is the same thing as one over 25 times one over 10 to the minus two which is the same thing as, I'll calculate one over 25 in a second. Um, it's, I don't know, okay, 0.4 or something like that. I can't, I can't do that in my head. But we'll calculate it with a calculator. But I'm gonna do the second part first. I'm gonna say that is 10 to the two, right? Because I just bring that back over. So I'm gonna grab my calculator and I'm going to say, one divided by 25 equals 0 0.04. Okay, all right, 0 0.04. 0 0.04, which is equal to 0 0.04 times 100, right? Which is equal to four. Wow, love it. Okay, hope that's helpful.